guys, welcome back. It's Nick the Booksmith, and today is the official end of the Deserted Island Journal Challenge. And thank you to everybody who um, participated. So it looks like on the um, playlist, so far there's 150 videos, which is a ton. And I know there's still a few that are not finished that I'm going to be adding because, you know, I'm, I'm going to add them. And a lot of them said they would be done by today anyway. So no worries. And then there was about, oh, 20 or so that um, don't have YouTube channels and either posted at Instagram or just sent me pictures um, on Facebook or at um, Etsy, you know, just kind of sent me some pictures. So maybe even more like two dozen. So it looks like we are at least 175 strong so far, which is uh, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Um, there was a lot of you. Thank you so much for joining in. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? <laughs> and I really liked all your stories and um, all the differences. Everybody was so, um, so unique and different and innovative, and I thought that was super cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, let me show you what I came up with, although I'm kind of nervous now because you guys kind of showed me up. So <laughs> you're gonna be looking at my journal and you're gonna go, oh, great, that's awesome, Nick. <laughs> Thought you were a booksmith. Okay, so um, I have my things that, you know, we were given, which is my glue and my scissors, my thread and needle and my paper, right? So that was that. And then I chose ink and where'd I put it? A pen, just a black felt, like a small pen. I can't find my microns. I don't know what happened to them. I think Donna took them. And a scrap of leather. And then for my last, my last one, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I did here. Get all this stuff out of the way. So my last one was a lion paw scallop. Isn't she beautiful? Look how pretty, pretty she is. Ah, oh, she's so pretty. So anyway, I decided to make um, a book out of a scallop. I did not eat her. <laughs> um, so that's, which, you know, sometimes you think you bite off more than you can chew. Well. I think I definitely did here, um, but it worked out okay. So this is what the spine looks like. Here is my, my scrap of leather that I used, and this is the thread, and it's like a waxed nylon. And so all the signatures are sewn in. I think there's like seven signatures. And everything is attached with just my glue, just, just the glue I chose, nothing else. And, but I just kind of wove some extra pieces in on the spine just to make it look a little, you know, look a little different. Okay, let me, let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so when you open up the shell, on the inside front cover, we've got a little, I don't know, I don't even know what this is. It's like a little 3D collage. So I made a, a just another scallop shell, but out of paper and a sand dollar and some coral. And then here's a little piece of fishing, like netting. And so I tried to make it kind of 3D and have a couple different layers in there. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. And then I am not a good sketch artist person. So I just made some bubbles and some little stitches. I did some real stitching too, but I then I just kind of drew some. I used some of the little scraps of leather and sewed those on the pages. And then, of course, I made some journal entries. And the first one is about Donna. And she was taking all the coconuts to make bras. I wanted to make drinks, pina coladas, and she wanted to make coconut bras. So leave it to Donna. Um, here is a little pocket that I made just with some paper that I ripped up and then I used um, my ink to kind of mess it up. It was used as like a little stencil 
so I ripped the little holes out of it and used it, you'll see later. Um, well, you can see right there. But here is, that's an extra piece of paper, here is a little map that I drew. Oh man, you guys, your maps were awesome. So awesome. <laughs> this is my map. So here is my map. Here's our, here's our ship that went down. Um, there's where we live. There were where the coconuts were that that Donna took. There's our lagoon where we go fishing. And here's our volcano, because, you know, volcano. This is where Donna sent Becky to go get coconuts, and Becky never returned. Uh, we went to look for her, and all we found was a tiki, like a totem. So we're not sure what that means, but Becky's gone. And then here is... Up here you can see that there's another little island over here that I kind of wanted to like escape to because Donna's killing me man she's killing me but there's a sea monster here so and he like guards this whole middle so I can't I can't get over there so that's our island I, I, do, I do not I do not think we're gonna get ever get off some of you guys got off the island I don't think I'm ever getting off this island Send more coconuts and gummy bears. Day four, the coconut bra chafes. Unhappy face. And then I just made some little stitching on these little fold out, just, I, just the extra pieces, because I used my scissors to cut the paper. So I folded all the paper in half and I stacked it up and then I put a shell on top and used the scissors to kind of make an indention around, you know, in the in the paper and I cut one of the pages to be like a template so that I could cut the rest of them and um, then these were the, it was like some strips that were ended up so I that's what some of these are were just like little strips that were left over from those here is day eight our pros and cons you know we have less people and sandy beaches with warm water it's quiet my toes aren't blue here but there's no more coconuts and there's sand in my everything. There's bugs, noisy birds, Donna, the coconut bras. We're out of rum and gummy bears. And then of course, there's Donna. So that's our cons. Here is a little pocket, just a little pocket. I just cut some of my paper scraps into leaf shapes and then I folded them up and used my little dopper dopper just to kind of rub some ink to make some, you know, some leaf veins. And I just glue them together and make a little pocket. Here is another one of my scraps. And I just sketched on a little tree and I took some of my, um, my little paper scraps that were left over and I crumpled them up and glued them on for like, you know, leaves. <laughs> and this was just a little scrap I glued on the back. It looks like a patch. Day 11, Donna keeps whining that her gummy bears are missing. It's driving me nuts. Hashtag, they were delicious. Donna. Here is a little vine that I stitched out of some of my excess thread there. And then some of my paper scraps, I just cut some little little leaves out of there and glued those on. And so they're kind of 3D because I didn't glue them all on. A little pocket with some extra paper. Day 13, caught some fish in our makeshift net. Still disappointed they don't taste like rum or gummy bears. The struggle is real. So here is our little makeshift net. And here's our, our fish and we caught a sand dollar. And then it's just, it's just the weavings. You guys did a lot of those too. You guys rocked it. I just took some scraps and then I drew some shells and glued those on top and wove some of the thread through there to kind of look like, you know, fish netting. So. But that's where how we caught our little fishes. We ate them, but they did not taste like gummy bears or rum. And I think the rest is blank. If I remember, yeah, the rest is blank, if I remember correctly. And then in the back, I added this little leather pocket and it has some messages to go in some bottles if we could, you know, get the bottles away from Donna because she's using them for a craft project too, so. 
I, I don't know, man. I don't know. And then there it is, all closed up. So <laughs> this is my ridiculous uh, journal, and um, yeah, it's ridiculous. But I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me let me zoom back out here. It's kind of kind of kind of close. Um, I guess that's it for today. I guess that's it for today. Um, those of you that are still finishing up your challenge projects, you know, it's okay. Take your time. Take the rest of the weekend. Don't stress out about it. Um, just send me your YouTube link, comment under this video. I will add them to the playlist if you make a video. And yeah, yeah. And those of you that don't have a YouTube, if you have Instagram, you can shoot some pictures and hashtag um, Nick the Booksmith or, you know, at me, you know, at symbol me, <laughs> so I see it. And let's see what else, what else, what else. Or you can send me a convo at Etsy with some pictures if you don't do social media. That's fine. That's fine. I just want you to have fun. I just want you to have fun. But I do kind of want to see what everybody's doing. I'm kind of, now I'm like super curious what everybody, you know, I'm going to go back and watch. There's 150 videos, but, and I need to go back and like rewatch them, like, in a slower pace. Maybe I'll take like a couple of day and just kind of go through them again. They're so good. You guys are so good. <laughs> ah, so thank you for, thank you for um, having fun with me. That was great. That was super duper great. Okay. I think that is it for today. All right, guys, I will see you in a couple of days with another video. And um, thanks for joining me today. Bye guys.